Hello and welcome back to Accounting with Ellie. I'm going to continue with the Statement of Financial Position as at 31 December. In the previous video, I referred to this as the statement that shows you that the glass is half full. Half full. Now to read this statement, there's a skeleton that never changes and it makes it so much easier to understand. So this statement will always have assets at the top and liabilities at the bottom. Assets at the top, liabilities at the bottom. It will have um, equity and liabilities. Okay, equity and liabilities. Then it'll have equity first, and then your liabilities. Now the total for the assets over here will always be equal to the total over here for equity and liabilities. Those two will always be the same. So if this answer is 100, you can know for sure that this one must be 100. Then assets get split up into non-current assets and current assets. Okay, so we have non-current assets and current assets. Liabilities get split up the same way. It has non-current liabilities and current liabilities. In the previous example, we spoke about the pizza shop that has a scooter. Now, a scooter is an asset which we will use to make money. And the scooter we are planning to have for 12 months plus. Okay, so it's a long-term business thing. So it's non-current and we'll probably put it under vehicles. The current assets is short-term assets we have, for example, cash. On the liability side, we have the loan you, that we're using to pay the vehicle. We are paying it all for longer than 12 months, so it is non-current, and we will call this a long-term borrowing. A current liability is a liability or a debt that we have to pay within the next 12 months. So let's say we bought our stuff for the pizza on credit. We used a credit card or we had an account with checkers and we bought all the flour and cheese on credit. That means we owe them that money and we have to pay them back. And we have to pay them back within 12 months. So it's a current liability, current. And that stuff we are using to run our business is called trade and other payables. And it used to be called inventory, if you're familiar with that word, but it's trade and other payables. We have to pay it because it's a liability. We, we might as well have some customers here at the top that bought pizza on credit. And they promised to still pay us. But it's now at 31 December, they haven't paid us yet, they must still pay us. So we're going to put that down here as trade and other receivables. So this is trade and other receivables. This is money that people owe us. And that is an asset. Great. So we are just developing some introductory concepts for accounting. Accounting is all about how to count your money. We are working our way through the equation that says equity equals assets minus liabilities. And we have done the statement of financial position. Once you understand the skeleton, it's so much easier to read the statement. So we have the top part, which is assets. And then we have the bottom part, which is equity and liabilities. Equity at the top, and then you have your liabilities. Both for assets, which is things we own already, and it's things we use to make money. So both for the assets and the liabilities, which is money we owe people. It has a section that's non-current and current, non-current and current. Non-current means it's long-term, 12 months plus, where current means it's, it has to be realized in the next 12 months. So non-current and current. Um, yeah, that's that for now. We'll look at the next one in the next video. Cheers.